Well, good morning, everyone. This is Bishop Deb. I'm coming to you from my little sitting spot down by Niagara River. This morning, it's quite a clear morning. The sun's not up yet, but I can see the lights of Toronto twinkling across the lake. And there's another batch of lights further east. I'm not quite sure. Maybe I'm looking at Pickering. I'm not sure. But the lights sure are pretty. And stars are out. Nobody else is around. It's kind of like a little cocoon here in my car. So I thought I'd take the opportunity to check in and and see how everybody is at this holiday time. Whether it's Hanukkah or Kwanzaa or Christmas. I hope you had a really good festive time. It was a quiet Christmas for us here. Just the the four of us and that was nice. It was nice. I came home from my late Christmas Eve service and, and my sons had meatballs and, and spinach to prepare and finger foods and we just had a lovely party. All of us watching White Christmas. It's a family tradition. We put on White Christmas and make fun of the dialogue and have (laughs) have a nice family time just making up new words and and, uh, it's always it's always fun to do that so I'm thinking of all the people that have been lost all the uh, celebrities and now Carrie Fisher that one really hit me hard I don't know why she's comparable to me in age I guess and and kind of grew up with her it's um it's really hard to to see people those faces those familiar iconic people passing off and and passing the leaving the planet and also at this time we remember all of the people in our lives who have who have left us who have gone to spirit who've died and but their their memories remain and Every year there seems to be a larger crowd that that we remember in our household. You know, it's bittersweet. But I have uh, come to understand that, you know, bringing in their traditions, baking a cookie that they liked or um, doing some sort of custom that was a favorite of theirs, is is a great way of remembering them and bringing their th- their energy to life again, you know, in our midst. Kind of sad, but also very special, the impact that people have on our lives. So I hope that you had a good holiday season. New Year's is just around the corner now. New Year coming to us. And... So in this time in between, I hope that you get time to recharge and rest and and reflect on what was and look to what is coming with with positivity and hope. It's very important that we keep that positive outlook. So let's start our day off for many of us going back to work after the the holiday season for the first time, even if just for a few days, let us pray. Gracious God, I give you thanks for this new day full of possibilities. I give you thanks for the days that have brought me to this point. All those days stretching out the days of my life, bringing me to this place now as we approach a new year. I give you thanks for all the people who have inspired me, for all the people who have loved me, for all the people who love me, for all the people who have supported me and continue to do so. I give you thanks for the lessons that I have learned, for apparent mistakes that have turned out quite well, and for the times when I have felt like I have failed. Nothing is impossible with you. I ask that today blessings come my way. That I would be aware of your great love. 
that I would know more fully your journey with me, your love for me, and all the ways in which you are active in my life. I give you thanks for this day. Hallow it with your love. Bless it with your spirit. And be with me, walk with me, each and every step. In your holy name I pray. Amen. Well, the countdown begins. New Year's, new resolutions, new light, new possibility. Let's all continue in our day knowing that nothing is impossible and that we are loved and beloved by a force much greater than we can ever truly know. Have a great day, everyone. Blessings.